calendar is a very important part of our life. Without a calendar, we would not know when we have a new year, school vacation, or even when it's our birthday. So, what is a calendar? Let's figure it out. This is our planet Earth on which we live. It revolves around the sun. One revolution of the Earth around the sun is one year. A year is split into 12 parts, which we call months. So, one year is 12 months. A year starts with January. So the first month of the year is January. The second month is February. The third month is March. The fourth is April. The fifth is May. The sixth is June. The seventh is July. The eighth is August. The ninth is September. The tenth is October. The eleventh is November. And the twelfth is December. In the same way, a year is split into four seasons. They are winter, spring, summer, and fall. The winter months are December, January, and February. In the winter, it's very cold outside. The trees have no leaves, and the ground is covered with snow. In the winter, we dress really warm. We put on a winter jacket, warm boots, winter hat, and mittens. After winter comes spring. The spring months are March, April, and May. In the spring, it starts getting warmer. The snow melts, the grass gets green, the flowers bloom, and trees get their leaves back. In the spring, we don't need such warm clothing as in the winter. So we put on a light jacket and shoes. After spring comes summer. The summer months are June, July, and August. It's hot in the summer. The trees are covered with leaves, grass grows, flowers bloom, and there are many insects such as bees, bumblebees, and butterflies. We don't need warm clothes in the summer, so we put on a t-shirt, shorts, and sandals. After summer comes fall. The fall months are September, October, and November. It starts getting colder in the fall. The leaves turn yellow and fall off. The flowers fade. The sky gets cloudy, and it often rains. In the fall, we need to dress warmer, so we put on a sweater, rubber boots, and bring an umbrella when it rains. Then comes winter, and everything starts all over. Now, let's go back to months. Each month has a different number of days. For instance, January has 31 days. February has 28 days, but sometimes it has 29 days. Those years are called leap years. March has 31 days. April has 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. July has 31 days. August also has 31 days. September has 30 days. October has 31 days. November has 30 days. 
and December has 31 days. So a year has 365 days, or 366 days on leap years. In addition to that, days are combined into weeks. Each week has seven days. The first day of the week is Sunday. The second day is Monday. The third day is Tuesday. The fourth day is Wednesday. The fifth day is Thursday. The sixth day is Friday. And the last day of the week is Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are work days. Then Saturday and Sunday are the weekend. One week ends on Saturday, and the next week begins on Sunday, and it starts all over again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then Sunday again, and so on. So if the 15th of January was Sunday, then the next day, January 16th, is Monday. The next day, January 17th will be Tuesday. January 18th will be Wednesday. January 19th will be Thursday. January 20th will be Friday. January 21st will be Saturday. And the next day, January 22nd, will be Sunday again, and so on. So when we draw all the days of the year in one picture, it will make the calendar. Here on the calendar, you can see the months, Here you can see the weeks, and here you can see the days of the months. One row is one week. For example, if today is Wednesday, April 5th, then yesterday was Tuesday, April 4th. The day before yesterday was Monday, April 3rd. And the day before was Sunday, April 2nd. Tomorrow will be Thursday, April 6th. The day after tomorrow will be Friday, April 7th. And the day after will be Saturday, April 8th. For example, if our birthday is on the 13th of May, then looking at the calendar, we can see that it will be Saturday, the weekend. So on that day, we can invite our friends over to a birthday party. If next week on Thursday, we decide to go to a movie with our friends, then looking at the calendar, we can see that next Thursday will be the 18th of May. So that means we need to order the tickets for May 18th. If we find out that in two weeks an interesting movie comes out, then looking at the calendar, we will see that in two weeks it will be the 27th of May. So we need to order the next tickets for Saturday, May 27th. Great job! Now you know what the calendar is, the days of the week, the months of the year, the seasons, and how to use the calendar. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and share this video with your friends. Bye-bye!